welcome back to the farm. We're changing the glow plugs in the BMC mini tractor. As you see, we're starting to take them out. Here's the one that's out. That's an eight millimeter nut and a uh, five eighths a deep well for it. Have to be careful not to break off the uh, this carbon tip here as you're pulling it out or twist it off. But even if you do, you just need a drill bit, 11 sixty-fourths, and you stick it in there and it'll clean this right out and any carbon buildup. So when you put the new one in, don't have any problems putting it in there. Use this 1164 drill bit. You can either use it on a drill or by hand. And you put it in there in where the hole is that the, uh, the electro goes in there. Well, the carbon rod goes in. And you just twist it until it goes all the way in. And you just pull it out and get the carbon out of the hole. And you can see in there. Yeah, you can kind of see in there. Barely. But that little hole way in there gets clogged up with some carbon. So that needs to be cleaned out before you put the new ones in. Now to get the little residue that's in the threads in there, that comes out of that hole when you drill it, you can just turn the engine over and it'll, it'll blow right out of that hole. Compression and clean that all right out. Well now we have all the new glow plugs installed. The new ones are 12 volts as you can see there. The old ones are 9 volts and we tested there at the wire and we were getting 12 volts so it must have burned them out somebody must have switched it over to 12 volts because that right there is the glow plug resistor as you can see it's got the uh, swirly coil wire underneath it there and that drops the voltage down to 9 volts and if you put 12 volts in there what you have to do is you have to jump over the over this with a wire that way you get 12 volts down to the glow plugs so now it should start up a lot easier during old weather so the glow plugs back in there we moved on to we put the new shift boots on and a couple washers underneath there uh, now we're draining the fuel out there to put a new fuel shut off in the tank that pipe that sticks up there is the return from the injectors return line so you definitely needed a shut off because somebody just stuck a piece of wood in there after the handle broke off. So we'll get that changed and then we'll uh, start it up and see if it uh, starts a lot easier. Well we ran into a little problem with the 
shut off valve. The new one, the uh, hole in there is drilled a little bit too large in the uh, ferrule on the, the compression ferrule on the fuel line goes right by, right down in there, and it doesn't uh, compress it with the with the nut on the line. So we'll have to get in contact with where I got the. And for the time from. being, there we put the old one back in, and we put a plug in the where the handle goes in instead of that piece of wood. Let's see how this starts up. Okay, let's start it up. Put the throttle up a little. Make sure that it's in the start position in the gear. Then I'll turn the heater on. The glow plug's on. For a few seconds. Starts up a lot easier. One thing I wanted to note is that I noticed on the amp gauge when I turned on the headlights, it was uh, going to the positive side with the tractor not running. It should be discharging to the negative side. Now these tractors, Leland's, Newfields, have positive ground, 12 volt positive ground. And it's easy to get the battery backwards there, it'll still start up the same, it's just the charging system will not operate properly. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.